What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so we have a new update rolling out for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro which is based on ColorOS 12 and the version is C.46. So in this video let's quickly take a look at what all changes they have done with the latest build of ColorOS for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 on which I've already installed ColorOS latest build which is C.46. So this is the Android version, Android version is 12 and this latest build of ColorOS comes with 5th Feb 2022 security patch. If you take a look at the version it says C.46 which is the latest one as of now. Before moving ahead guys let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and still we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Before talking about the changelog let's also take a look at the benchmark results. So these benchmark results I performed using high performance mode wherein single core scored 1064 and multi core scored 3065 and these are the results of Oxygen OS 12 C.44 version where you can see using Geek Benchmark application there is not much of difference in the benchmark results between Oxygen OS and Color OS latest build but when it comes to benchmark testing using Antutu benchmark application with Color OS device code 794237 so these are the results with this latest update of Color OS and I have a screenshot of the benchmark results which I got it on Oxygen OS 12 version C.44 and here also high performance mode was turned on. So with Antutu benchmark application color OS scores way higher. And guys soon you install color OS you'll have all these Chinese blotwares. Few of them can be easily uninstalled but there are few applications which can't be uninstalled and you can't even disable them. So I'm about to shoot a video in which I'll be showing you guys how to debloat the color OS and also the root process of color OS. Talking about the installation process, if you guys are running Oxygen OS 12, then you can just download the complete zip file from the description below. Currently, we don't have the zip file of version C.46. So if you are already running Oxygen OS 12 version C.44, still you can download the same version of color OS and perform a local upgrade. So this is the file of color OS version C.44 and I was running Oxygen OS 12 version C.44 on my device. Over that I did a local upgrade. First you need to download this system update application which is OnePlus local update application. Place the file inside the internal storage. Tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner and you'll be able to see the file. Just tapping on it will let you upgrade your device to color OS. And as I installed it over Oxygen OS, none of the applications got wiped. Basically this update just brings few fixes over the previous update and as you can see the update size was 233 MB. Talking about the first change log wherein OnePlus says they have increased the performance of the device and yes guys I did notice bit of improvements using Antutu benchmark application as you saw the Antutu results on my OnePlus 9 running color OS and we also have the benchmark results of Oxygen OS 12 version C.44. So slightly improvements can be seen. But still, I'll be coming up with a complete review in which I'll show you guys performance part, battery backup and few camera samples also. So stay tuned for that. After that OnePlus have also fixed some display issues with the third party applications. Though it's hard to find out such issues until I use the device for a day or two. So as said, I'll be using this device as my primary phone running Color OS if we don't get the Oxygen OS update soon. And there are possibilities we might get to see Oxygen OS update by tomorrow. And this last change law is related to security in which they have integrated the security patch to Feb 2022. And guys also remember if you install Color OS over Oxygen OS then you'll have multiple applications. For example, here you can see two contact applications are available on my smartphone. But you guys can uninstall them by long pressing on it. System applications won't get the option of uninstall. As you can see here, this was the Google contact app. If I long press on it, I get the option to uninstall. But if I long press on system app, which is of color OS 12, I don't get any option to uninstall it. And I can't even disable this application. Similarly, you'll have more applications, for example, notes. But notes application can be uninstalled. It doesn't matter whether it's of color OS or oxygen OS. And other applications like OPPO can be easily uninstalled. If you don't get the option to uninstall when you long press, just tap on App Info and there you'll have the option to uninstall these applications. So one by one, you can uninstall all these applications. So basically guys, there's nothing much to be covered in this video and system related changes, we cannot figure them out so soon. So for that, we'll be using this device as primary device to figure out whether OnePlus have done any other changes or not. So as of now, only this much in this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.